Intel, probably by accident, just released some information on their upcoming 9000 series, and we've got some benchmarks on AMD's upcoming Ryzen 3 2300X. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Gamer Meld. The t-shirt contest is officially ending on the 10th, so make sure to get your designs in before then. Submit yours at the Gamer Meld Discord server linked in the description below. Last year, Intel released their 8th generation CPUs. They came with a much needed jump in core count, which brought a pretty huge boost in performance. This year, the company's 9th generation CPUs aren't too far away, thanks to information that comes directly from Intel themselves. First found in a microcode update and later in an 8th gen core family update, Intel has revealed quite a bit. Now, I will say that both of these have been revised, with the link of the 8th gen update completely taken down and the mention of 9000 series CPUs removed from the microcode update. Fortunately for us, we have screenshots. In the microcode, Intel reveals the i5 9400, 9400T, 9500, 9600, and 9600K. Then in the i3 lineup, we have the i3 9000 and 9100. Of course, you might be wondering where the i7s are, and that's the interesting part. They're not here, and it's almost definitely because they're not 6 or 4 core parts like the others, which certainly bodes well for all the rumors and leaks about this mystical 8 core CPU. Now, you will notice that these are in the 8th gen classification, but given their naming structure, I'm really not sure why. They may have just not created a new category yet, or since they're coffee lake still, they may just not be different enough for Intel to classify them that way. We really aren't sure, but luckily, we do have clocks. In the link that's now been taken down, the base clocks are either the exact same or 100 MHz higher than their 8th generation counterparts. The turbo clocks, on the other hand, are 200 MHz higher for all but the 9400, which only sees a difference of 100 MHz. What seems to be going on is that Intel is simply throwing together a series with slightly higher clocks on the i3 and i5 chips, making the i7 the real draw with an 8-core CPU. The only issue I have is the lack of 12-thread CPUs. If all i7s are 8 cores, there becomes an unusual gap. Of course, this could just be a quick response while the company finally readies their long-awaited 10 nanometer chips next year. Next up for today, we have a leaked benchmark of AMD's upcoming successor to the budget 1300X, the Ryzen 3 2300X. Originally found on Chip Hell's forums, the 4-core 4 4-thread four CPU got a score of 690 on Cinebench, which is actually not bad at all. As far as specs, we really aren't sure, but boost clock appears to be somewhere between 4 and 4.2 GHz. Of course, as with all of Ryzen, the 2300X is an unlocked multiplier, so you can overclock it. Speaking of overclocking, Chipel was able to get it to 4.3 GHz on water. At the end of the day, this is roughly what we expected with AMD's 12 nanometer modules almost perfectly scaling as it gets to higher end areas. So while that does it for today, make sure to subscribe by hitting the icon in the middle. And let me know what you thought of the news. Excited for AMD's next generation Ryzen 3 or pumped for 9th gen Intel CPUs? Let me know down in the comments below, and as always, have a great day.